Now, Russia's Wagner mercenary group has posted a video on social media of its leader berating Russia's defense minister. Let's take a listen. Well, you may not understand the language, but you don't really need to. As you can hear, the Wagner leader, Evgeny Prigozhin, was extremely irate as he shouted at the camera lens. The exact location of the video is unclear, but he is seen walking among the bodies of dead Wagner fighters in Ukraine. Amongst the profanities, Prigozhin condemns Russia for not sending the mercenary force enough ammunition. Let's hear from BBC Monitoring's Vitaly Shevchenko. We knew that there was no love lost between Evgeny Prigozhin and Russia's top brass, but this morning he, he significantly raised the stakes by threatening to withdraw his Wagner mercenaries from Bakhmut, which is a key battleground in eastern Ukraine. He said um, his Wagner group had become the victim of what he presented as a plot by envious military bureaucrats who, according to Evgeny Prigozhin, uh, be began to starve Wagner of ammunition deliberately. And in a statement published on social media this morning, he said um, he, he'll have to withdraw Wagner to, um, I quote, lick our wounds because otherwise his fighters would be facing certain death. That's what he said. Now, uh, we, we have to remember that Evgeny Prigozhin is a bit of an attention seeker and he has a bit of a reputation. He himself has admitted to involvement in, in various operations which are the subject of Western sanctions for spreading disinformation. But the significant point here is that if his fighters withdraw from uh, Wagner, who withdraw from Bakhmut, who's going to fight in, in that location? He says it should now be done by the Russian army, but does it have the resources to do it? That is unclear. How is like, uh, Russia likely to respond to this, just briefly? Well, the, this is going to cause disquiet among Russian military commanders and the very fact that Evgeny Prigozhin is so public about it, that's a sign of uh, how deep are the rifts within the Russian military establishment. Some context there from BBC Monitoring's Vitaly Shevchenko. Now, a bit more on Russia, because following on, when, following on from Wednesday's alleged drone attack on the Kremlin, a Russian oil refinery has caught fire after suffering a drone attack. The Ilsky plant near Krasnodar on the Black Sea had already been attacked once this week, although no injuries have been reported in either incident. Russia has once again blamed the U.S. for a drone strike which seemed to target the Kremlin, Russian's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov described it as a terrorist act. <laughs> 